Well, okay, I admit it, I'm bored. Bored enough to have taken a look at Miles Johnston's channel uh, a little earlier on. And I saw that uh, Miles has got some sort of live thing going uh, with, uh, with Ben Emlyn Jones. And uh, basically the crux of it is that um, uh, Miles has run out of money and um, he's e begging for, not just for donations, but I think he said he wanted something like uh, £300,000 or hundreds of thousands of pounds so they can get a full-time staff uh, working on the basis project. And um, I personally I thought it went quite poorly uh, because the first guy they had on there was obviously as nutty as a fruitcake. Um, some of the comments he got weren't very positive. Someone said, um, oh, you're only in it for the money, uh, that sort of thing. Now, um, I'm, I'm, inclined to, uh, I'm inclined to think that's the case, personally. And uh, I think uh, Miles hasn't had a, a proper job for such a long time. He just doesn't want to go back into the workforce and he's peddling or spruiking all this absolute nonsense as long as it uh, rakes in some cash. But apparently he's been, uh, been hit by demonetization. Uh, YouTube are demonetizing uh, some of the videos. And I think that's probably the right thing to do because personally I don't think people should be making money out of this absolute nonsense. Uh, Miles said something about a Michael Shrimpton DVD as soon as he put it up he was told it was demonetized. Well, so it should be. I don't know if anyone's ever seen any of Michael Shrimpton's presentations, but um, uh, if I called it absolute rubbish I would be uh, being over complimentary in the extreme. He's convinced that the planet's being run by the, uh, the German intelligence services. <laughs> He calls the DVD and they're running around the planet in Second World War U-boats. So uh, the chap's obviously as nutty as a fruitcake. He's always, uh, he, he's always very happy to tell us how dumb the, uh, the British police are. Um, but, uh, you know, you have to wonder how dumb someone would have to be to believe that German intelligence were running around the planet in Second World War U-boats. Um, okay, anyway, I'm sort of going off at a bit of a tangent here. Um, now, um, Ben said, uh, Ben's argument for this is that, um, you know, if you call a plumber, got a leak in your pipe, um, you, you call the plumber, he comes round and he would expect to be paid um, to repair your pipe. And if you go into a pub, then, uh, you know, you wouldn't expect to get your pint of beer for free. You'd have to cough up your four quid or whatever it is for a pint of beer. So there's nothing wrong with being paid for what you're doing. Now, and then Ben went on to mention the truth movement. Now, to be perfectly honest, um, the truth movement contains no truth whatsoever. I mean, all this 9-11 conspiracy rubbish. I mean, there is no Hutchison effect. Where's the, where's the, pr the peer-reviewed uh, mathematical proof for the Hutchison effect? There is none. Uh, Hutchison can't reproduce or demonstrate this effect. So it's, it's rubbish. The Hutchison effect does, doesn't exist. It's a myth. Uh, so directed energy, <laughs> directed energy weapons being used, you know, uh, using the Hutchison effect to, to bring down the buildings on 9-11 is absolute nonsense. Where were these directed energy weapons uh, mounted? Um, it's absolute rubbish. This is, this is not truth. So charging people money for telling them that is very much like um, you've got a leak in your pipe, you call the plumber to come round. So the plumber comes round, he can see the water squirting out of the pipe, but he says, um, there's no leak there, um, I, I can't see a leak, uh, that'll be 200 quid please. And it's a bit like going into the pub saying, a pint of, uh, pint of your finest bitter, please innkeeper. And uh, the, uh, the innkeeper gives you a pint of tap water and says, uh, that'll be four quid, please. Can you see the difference? Now, if you call the plumber and he comes round and he sees the water squirting out of the pipe and he repairs the leak, 
and he charge you, charges you 200 quid, that's fine. That's the difference. You're not charging, <laughs> you're charging people money for what you're telling them is the truth, but there could be nothing further from the truth. That's the difference. That's the difference between uh, money for, um, you know, fair, fair work, if you like, and money, money that you're being conned out of. That is the difference. And that is why people get upset with people making money out of this absolute rubbish you see and hear on YouTube. So uh, there we go. That's just my uh, that's just my two Bobsworth on the uh, on the latest video on the Miles Johnston channel. Um, uh, so I think someone left a comment on there saying, "Just get a job, Miles, and uh, do this sort of stuff in your spare time." And I think that's a pretty valid comment, really. I mean, how much time do you need to put into this rubbish, really? How much equipment do you need? Um, you know, I mean, I, I do these videos uh, uh, with, a, with a single camera. It's a very basic thing. I point it at the computer and I talk, you know. Uh, sometimes you can see me. Most of the time you can hear me. You, what else do you need? So, uh, so there we go. Um, I, think, uh, I think Miles probably knows that um, if he can't get money from his YouTube channel, he's screwed, uh, basically, because um, companies these days, uh, HR uh, departments in companies these days, well, you know, proper big companies that you, you might want to work for that are going to pay a reasonable salary, that sort of stuff. Their HR departments will look at social media. If someone applies for a job, part of what they'll do is look at social media and see what you're saying on Facebook and on YouTube and on all this sort of stuff. And if they look at what the sort of stuff that Mike Miles uh, puts on his channel, he's not going to get employed. I think that's the bottom line. And I think he's, uh, I think he's smart enough. I don't think he's terribly smart, to be perfectly honest, Miles, but I think he's smart enough to know that. All right, well, that's just my, uh, uh, my two Bobsworth on uh, the e-begging for... <laughs> The e-begging for the truth movement. Mm. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.